Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the James Julia Auction House, and I'm taking a look at a coin purse. Or maybe not. I think we should probably just go straight in and take a closer look at this. So I brought this out because I know you guys are really interested in coin purses. Um, this is a design that was patented by a guy named Frankenau. He patented this in 1877, so pretty early, um, and patented it in both the United States and the United Kingdom. And we have a little uh, nice depressible button there that opens up this compartment. Now this originally would have had a couple of accordion uh, dividers in it, which are unfortunately gone. This, this guy has been pretty heavily used and, and has seen better days, but that would normally be in there. And we also have a serial number, which is 1085. That closes up and uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. We'll just, that, that's all you'd see, except there's, well, there's that and there's, this. I guess you guys probably want to see what's in this other side of this coin purse. If we lift up that latch, which by the way is a very deliberate latch, you're not going to open that accidentally. Lift that up. There's, oh my goodness, there's a gun in there. Well, on this channel, of course, there's a gun in there. Uh, this is a Frankenau purse revolver. It's a little five shot pin fire revolver. It looks kind of like a pepper box, but it's not. It actually has a very short barrel there, about a centimeter long, about a half inch barrel. Uh, and the trigger mechanism is this thing right down here on the bottom. So the idea of this was pretty simple. It was a concealed revolver, uh, probably meant for ladies. You could carry this around. No one would ever expect that this was in fact a gun, especially because you could legitimately use it as a coin purse. Now, unfortunately, this one, like, a, like the exterior, the gun on the inside has seen better days. The springs are shot. So I can't really demonstrate how it works, except that this, of course, is the hammer. It's pin fire. So you have your cartridge pins projecting up through these holes where they are hit by the hammer right there on top. We have a loading gate here at the back, which you can open up to load and eject the cases. And one of the interesting features, which unfortunately is broken as well on this one, is this yoke around the barrel here. What that originally had was this round plate at the top, and it also had a round cover plate that would seal the muzzle up. And that both prevented dirt from getting into the gun there, and it also kind of disguised this, so it looked like kind of a decorative element. And the way this worked was that when you flipped the trigger down, this piece would slide down as well, and now your cover plate would be sticking out horizontally and expose the muzzle. And then when you put it away, you can see the bottom of that yoke is exposed now. When you folded the trigger back up, it would push that back up into position. Oh, this one's a little sticky. Give it a little help there. Just like that. So a clever second mechanism working with the trigger. And then, of course, obviously the trigger also functioned or drove the firearm. It would pull the hammer back, release it, and fire. So, of course, what this immediately to me brought to mind was that H&K MP5K briefcase device that was invented or developed, geez, like a hundred years after this, but for the exact same purposes. It was, it is a everyday concealable item that people aren't going to suspect has a gun in it that can be used uh, for self-defense or I suppose assassinating East Germans uh, when the situation calls for it. These things are really scarce today, so even though this one's not in the greatest condition, I figured it was definitely worth taking a close look at because you don't find them very often. There you are, one Frankenau purse revolver. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what? Tactical has always existed and always will exist. It's cool to see it in these different forms. If you're interested in owning this guy yourself, put it right up there next to your MP5 briefcase gun, well, uh, check the description text below. Uh, you'll find a link there to the Julia catalog page on this piece with their pictures and their description. And if you're uh, so inclined, you can place a bid over the phone or here live in person at the auction. Thanks for watching.